with 34 elementary schools, six middle schools, five high schools, and a range of alternative learning sites, Spokane Public Schools provides access to a variety of excellent learning opportunities. Whether the school is in their neighborhood or across town, our students will find the right fit for their educational needs. Every one of our schools offers a supportive learning environment. And because we know that a one-size-fits-all approach doesn't work for every student, we're continually expanding our selection of options. Here are a few. Well, the community school is a project-based choice high school for students who want a different experience than the traditional high school setting. Our school is a school that really values students and values the power that they have and the knowledge that they have. And so we take them from where they're at and they, they grow in the school because we provide them a place for that. We are a member of the New Tech Network, which is a network comprised of 167 schools throughout the United States. The community school is a small project-based high school that built relationships that created authentic learning through projects, um, which supports the 21st century learning skills. As far as collaboration, how do we solve problems? How do we identify problems? New Tech Network came in and they're giving us more support around how do we do that collaboratively and how do we build and grow together. Institute of Science and Technology is kind of like a dream of like 17 years ago. And to create the culture, the attitude, the, the space, the capabilities to great, produce great scientists, great medical professionals, great teachers, great engineers. We've created a three-level series of courses, a course called Biomech Technology. We call it basic, but they're doing labs that you usually don't do until you're junior in college. Biological Solutions, which is an introduction to doing molecular research and having them become more and more independent. And there's genomic research, which is for them to take on actually independent research projects. All science that's being done in the classrooms is real science, but what this is, is it's authentic, it's novel, and many times we don't know the answers. And I think people like challenges. They always have. Everest, deepest part of the oceans. Going over that next rise when you're out hiking, it's always, let's go one more, one more hill, one more hill, one more hill. Core knowledge involves domains which include ancient Asian history, Greek history, um, it brings in science, social studies, art, music. It also has a big skills bank and so we teach listening and learning, spelling, the reading component, the guided reading. And so the children listen to beautiful stories going along and then they have discussions as a group and at any point they can do extensions which is their own. It's hitting the kids where they are. It's really neat. So Apple began in about 1977 uh, with a group of preschool parents uh, that had a co-op preschool and their drive was obviously being involved in their child's education and they saw kind of looking forward, what does that look like for my child as they enter the, the regular public school? And they thought it would be great to have a program where we were directly involved with our child's education. So what came out of that is a program that we call Apple, which is the Alternative Parent Participation Learning Experience. And that really encapsulates what Apple is now, which is families donating two and a half hours of time every week, all school year, being directly involved. They're in their child's classroom, they're at assemblies, they go on field trips, and they saw that value of them experiencing their child's education along with them. Dr. Montessori would have called it an aid to child development, to human development, and it changes at every level. So when you look at that elementary level, you're looking at group activity, they're a social learner, so all lessons are given to small groups of children and then carried on by small groups of children. We know that the brain works best when it's interested and engaged, and so lessons are designed to pique interest in children and give children lessons that they are interested in. So that lesson that you just saw on the earth, that was a lesson requested by that group of children. We want to know more about it, and then sure enough, it attracts some more children. So now I've got a whole group that is researching and interested in that lesson, and then we'll learn a lot from doing that. So small group work, active, hands-on learning, directed by interests with the aim of developing a complete human being, mind, heart, and hand. 
Spokane Public Schools understands the value of choice. That's why we're strengthening the solid curriculum currently in our schools with additional programs that give students and families opportunities to achieve their full potential. Learn about all we have to offer at spokaneschools.org.